I think right now here in Season 5, Apex Legends is just about in the best state that it's ever been. But I think one of the few places this game can really heavily improve on is their hop-up game. So this is going to be the fourth iteration in my Community Made series, where I put a community post up on my channel and I ask you guys if you have any new ideas. In this case, I asked my audience if they have any new hop-up ideas. It seems that the next heirloom coming to Apex Legends is going to be Mirage's statue. And a fun fact, in one of my previous Community Made Heirloom Ideas videos, we actually predicted predicted this to come to Apex Legends. So in this video, first of all, I hope you're entertained. And second of all, maybe we can predict a hop-up coming to the future of Apex Legends, or even give Respawn some ideas if they happen to see this video. Anyways, I am the Alarmix, and let's get into the video. The depressed peep YT's idea, it's called Tracer Rounds, kind of explains itself, but it is similar to when Crypto's drone scans you, and will be indicated on the damaged enemy until they heal themselves or until they damage you. So I really like this idea of Tracer Rounds. I think the best way to implement this is to where when you shoot somebody, they will be highlighted through walls for about 4 seconds. With all these hop-ups I'm going to be talking about during the video, don't be too quick to say that they'll be super overpowered, because it depends with this tracer rounds, with this example, how long are they going to be revealed through walls? Is it just going to be a second? Is it going to be 20 seconds? I'm not too sure what this gun would be for, but I think it would be really cool to put tracer rounds on a gun that kind of needs spicing up. So I think this tracer rounds would be good on something like the alternator, the hemlock, or the spitfire maybe. Putting tracer rounds on a gun that's already in the meta, I think that'd be just a little bit OP. Our next idea comes from Jack Bodie. I hope I said your last name right, Jack. The name is Flame Tip. Overall, the enemy takes more damage, but they slowly get damaged as if they were hit by a thermite grenade for the Sentinel and Hemlock. So I think a better way to look at this is incendiary rounds. If you're one of the people who put up one of the similar ideas to what I have up on screen, I had a lot of incendiary rounds duplicate ideas. So I just took the one that I was top rated. It'd be really hard to find the original comment. So what incendiary rounds are is when you shoot someone, they'll take the damage from the bullet, but the bullet will have flames on it, so they'll also take additional like flame damage. It'll tick like a thermite grenade. I think incendiary rounds are better for guns that aren't full auto, because if you have an R301 or an R99, you can constantly be tapping like each individual person on the other team, and you can just do insane amounts of damage, and it is super annoying to deal with. So I think if you put incendiary rounds on something like the Mastiff, or the Sentinel, or even any of the snipers, I think that would make a decent bit of sense. Like this guy, he said you'd put it on the Hemlock. I think it'd be pretty cool if the Hemlock had something like incendiary rounds. Just with it being a burst weapon, you'd kind of have to check the power on that. I mean, that'd be super annoying if you'd have the Hemlock on semi-auto and then the guy with the Hemlock could go individually pop each person on the other team and it could constantly be on fire like they're being hit by a thermite grenade. But yeah, if you have something like that on a Mastiff, to where with short range guns like that, usually once a Mastiff comes into play, the gunfight's getting over pretty quickly. There wouldn't be too much opportunity to just be constantly on fire. Our next idea comes from this guy called Name. His hop-up idea is Quick Trigger. It's for the Wingman, Longbow, and G7. Lowers the damage per bullet, but doubles the fire rate. So he had an example, the Wingman, it would double the fire rate, but it would only do 27 damage per bullet. So I do really like this idea. Right now in Apex Legends, we have the G7, which doesn't have a super fast fire rate, but it does like 30 damage per bullet. But then on the other hand, we have the Hemlock on Semi-Auto, to where you can fire it just about as fast as you want. I think with the G7, it'd be pretty cool to have a middle ground there between the Hemlock semi-auto and the G7 semi-auto. And also with the Wingman, having a hop-up to where you can shoot faster, but it would have lower damage. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think you'd have to have the recoil reset a lot faster when you have the reduced damage bullet. But I mean, when you would have these guns on their lower damage setting, I mean, that'd completely change up the game, and I think it'd be a whole lot of fun. Our next idea comes from Goot, a hop-up that lets you use ammo from your reserves so you don't have to reload. So I would really like this addition into the game if it was for a gun like the R301 or something like, say, the Flatline. I think how you would implement this into the game is for a gun like, say, the R301, you would lower the fire rate, say, either a little bit or a lot. I guess that would depend. And then you would dramatically reduce the accuracy on the gun. So it would turn the R301 or the Flatline into, say, more of an SMG. The decreased fire rate would stop something like the Flatline or the R301 from outgunning an SMG, and then the dramatically reduced range on the gun would stop the flatline and the R301 from completely beaming. Say something that has an ammo cap, like even another R301 that does not have this hop up. But then when you would get into close range, you would still do pretty decent DPS, but you wouldn't have to reload at all like the L-Star. So you could go through two or three people if they are distracted on your teammates. I don't know how this hop up would look or work, but I think the coolest way to implement this is to somehow get like an ammo belt, like feed 
feeding from your backpack or some like futuristic gun tube feeding from your backpack straight into your gun. Okay, I'm not too sure how this would work out. Don't quote me on that, but I guess it's just some pretty cool speculation. While you're watching this video, if you get a good idea about what they should do with the hop-ups in this game, a change they should make, let me know what you think in the comments below. So our next idea, this comes from some dude in a blanket. This hop-up is called Slug Bullets. Make shotgun shoot one high damage projectile instead of a wide pellet spread. So I think they call this Slug Rounds in Call of Duty. This is where your shotgun only shoots one concentrated bullet or a very concentrated spread of pellets. With guns like the Mastiff, people say it is inconsistent because first of all, you have to be really close to your opponent. And second of all, you have to aim directly for the middle of the body to get most of the pellets to hit the opponent. So that's why people call the Mastiff inconsistent. With Slug Rounds, it doesn't matter where you would aim. You can aim at the elbows, at the knees, at the head. You don't have to hit them directly in the middle of the body to hit the full shot of bullets. But I think how you would balance this into the game, I think first of all, it'd be really cool if there would be a pretty long bullet travel time. So you would have to lead shot quite a bit. So it's not just a, you aim directly at the person, you pull the trigger and you do say a lot of damage. But second of all, the damage that it would do, it would probably have to be reduced. The Mastiff, if you hit a full spread, I believe it's 102 damage. So maybe if you would hit the slug round, it would do say 70 damage. The power of it would depend. It would have to be tested first. So maybe it would only do 40 damage at the end. But this is basically just pretty much an instant precision choke. You don't have to sit there and wait for the precision choke to slowly lower the spread. And I think if you would have this on the Mastiff, it having its faster fire rate than the PK, slug rounds actually might make a decent bit of sense for the Mastiff. Guy Capney said a hop up that turns the Mozambique into how it was on April Fools. I mean, I wonder what you guys think if you would want this added into the game, but I think having the Mozambique as a legitimate primary would be pretty sweet. How it was on April 1st, the Mozambique had 9 bullets in the mag, it was full auto, and I believe it did double damage. Yeah, it was a completely OP weapon, but even if we would have a hop up to where the Mozambique would have 9 bullets, it would be full auto, but it wouldn't do double damage. I mean, if there's any hop up they could add in to spice up the game, I think that would certainly do it. State Flower said, a hop up that allows you to dual wield Mozambiques or P2020s. Note, you can only put one hop up on a single gun, so no hammer points if you have the dual wield on. It should also only take up one slot. So yeah, as far as the two hop ups go, uh, if they'd add a hop up into the game, I'm guessing they would have to remove one accordingly. But fun fact, we actually have this picture back from when Crypto was released. I think it was that battle pass. There was a battle pass loading screen that had Crypto holding two guns. I don't know exactly where this came from, so don't quote me on that. But I found this picture over on Reddit and I thought it's pretty cool. So there is just a small chance that this could be Respawn's way of teasing dual wield coming to the future of Apex Legends, but there isn't a super strong chance of that. But if you'd have a dual wield P20 or Mozambique, I think that'd be super cool. I think even if you dual wield a Mozambique or P2020, pretty sure it still wouldn't be a very viable gun. But now I'm just thinking about this. What if you'd be able to dual wield an alternator? The alternator, I mean, it's a pretty reliable weapon. The recoil isn't too bad. The ammo capacity on the alternator is pretty decent. So people dual wield alternators like I could totally see this in Apex Legends and please add it. This idea comes from Serato. A hop up for the L-Star overload removes overheat but in return it does 10% less damage and fires 5% slower. So I really like this idea from Serato. I think if the L-Star would just fire say 20% slower somewhere in that area that would be pretty cool. The thing is though with this gun I'm guessing the hop up that you would add into the game would only be for the L-Star and I don't really like that. But this general idea of allowing the L-Star to fire infinitely without over heating I do like that. I think some way you could add it into the game to where this hop up would be for multiple guns not just the L star is some sort of like really strong upgraded barrel. There's pieces on the L star I think if you fire it for too long it'll start to melt. So I think there's a way you could add it for the L star and say a gun like the R301 that would give it some other added bonus. Our next idea comes from Tech Planter XX. His hop up idea is the supporter. It subs to Alarmix and turns on the notification bell and likes his vids. Let me just say I'm intrigued by this hop up idea but anyways if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button for more interesting apex legends videos just like this frog monkey game monkey he said tactical suppressor put it on a multitude of guns and the sound is hard to hear so i think a really good way to implement a suppressor into this game i think the hemlock would work really well with a suppressor if you would have it attached to the gun though it would decrease the range on the gun the damage drop off would happen faster so when you're shooting people at a pretty long range you would do say 20% less damage or something like that. I think having a hemlock in semi 
auto mode and just spam firing that with the suppressor on. I think that would sound pretty legit. And also if they'd ever remove hammer point rounds, even though I really like hammer point rounds, maybe they could add it for say the P20. I just really like the idea of a suppressor for semi-auto guns. It's just really, really cool to me. The next idea from one of my wonderful viewers, his name is GOAT5168. This hop-up is called Empty Shot for the Mozambique. Fires all three shots at once for a powerful blast. Like people, could you imagine this? Just having the Mozambique being a one-shot super powerful hand cannon. Just walk around the corner and there's someone with this gun and you just get absolutely obliterated from one shot from the Mozambique. Like maybe it would be even cool if you'd have to charge up the Mozambique and then when you let go it would shoot out a super powerful burst. I think messing around with the Mozambique to be a legitimate gun. I mean with hammer point rounds it kind of is. I think it's pretty funny and they should definitely try stuff like this. Looking at the little bit more serious side of stuff, things they should add into the game tomorrow. RE Gamer said, this isn't really a new idea but something like a precision choke for the Mastiff or a huge recoil reduction hop up. So I really like the idea of having a precision choke on the Mastiff. They took the Peacekeeper, obviously as you know, and they put it in the care package. And now the precision choke is only for the triple take. I think if they were to put this hop up onto the Mastiff, they would have to have the precision choke, the spread of the gun, close a lot faster than say like the triple takes or the PKs did. Just because the Mastiff, it is a faster firing weapon in general. Maybe you guys think that the Mastiff is already too overpowered or maybe they could somehow nerf the Mastiff and then add the precision choke to the Mastiff. Sir Max Hood said, insert name for the flatline slash spitfire, reduce damage for more fire rate and mag size, also removes ADS, basically turns spitfire into a minigun. So I really like the idea of having a hop up for the spitfire. Spitfire can get a little bit bland sometimes, but having a hop up that turns this gun only into a hip fire gun, maybe reduces the ADS on it, that circle where you can hit people just a little bit, and then every individual barrel level up that you put on this gun would further reduce that hip fire spread. And then each bullet would do less damage, but it would have a higher fire rate. There's something called the drum gun from Call of Duty Ghosts. This is basically just a hip fire LMG. So there are games where a gun like this has been put into it, and it has worked out pretty well. You would have to find a way to balance this. Maybe the hip fire won't be too accurate. Maybe it won't do too much damage. But I do see a way where they could add in a hop up for just the Spitfire to turn it into kind of a minigun. I think that would be a whole lot of fun. Unknown said, hop up, stun shot for the wingman in G7 Scout. Makes your opponent slower per hit, but the damage is reduced by 20%. So a lot of hop ups in Apex Legends, you trade something for something else. For example, the normal Prowler. The burst damage on it does a lot of DPS, but it isn't very accurate. But then when you put the select fire on it and turn it into full auto, you give up damage per seconds, but then you get pretty good accuracy. With this stun shot, when people are running to cover with the wingman in G7, if you would shoot them, it would stun them so you get more time to do more damage, but at the same time, you would have less damage in the first place. So I think some sort of stun shot would really mix up the game. I think it'd be a lot of fun to have a stun shot on your gun. I mean, I don't know people, but this just fits Apex Legends in some way. Crank and Crown said, Switcher, a hop-up that lets you choose what type of ammo your weapon shoots, like R99, use heavy ammo, etc. So just thinking very far and away hypothetically about this, if you're using the R99, you could use this hop-up to switch over to heavy ammo. Heavy ammo, generally, I believe it does more damage per bullet, but then the fire rate isn't as good. So with the R99, if you are using heavy ammo with it, if you had the hop-up switched over to where you could use heavy ammo, I'm guessing the R99 would shoot slower, but then maybe it would have more damage per bullet, and maybe it would even have a completely different recoil pattern. And then say if you had the flatline using light ammo, maybe it would shoot faster, have less damage per bullet, and maybe even be slightly more accurate and have a different recoil pattern. I don't know if this is a legitimate idea, something they could possibly add in the future. For all of my ideas in this video, I think there are at least a couple of duplicates for each one of them, but I think this idea, I think it had just about the most duplicates. So people, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more interesting Apex Legends videos just like this. And also, let me know in the comments below what they should do with the hop-ups in this game. Should they remove a couple of hop-ups from Apex Legends and replace them with a few ideas from this video? Or should they make the precision choke for the Mastiff also? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And that'll be about it for me, the Alarmix, and I'll see you guys later.